It is. It's getting really warm out here. All right, so let's talk for a second. You know, allergies, lots of different things can cause ear infections in kids. My son has another one right now. Mm. But did you know it can also happen in your pets, your dogs and your cats? Dr. Christian Broadhurst with Play Humane is here to talk about that. All right, how in the how do they get ear infections? Believe it or not, they get ear infections in very similar ways that humans do. Well, first of all, dogs and cats are a little different in their ear infections. Since we have my buddy Bear here, we'll talk about dogs for the moment. Bear, um, generally speaking, especially a dog like Bear with his big floppy ears, yep. there's a lot of moisture that can get trapped under there and a little bit of bacteria on his skin or a little bit of yeast um, can definitely help set up an infection in there. All right, how do you know? Like with, you know, with kids, they can tell you, adults, you know it hurts. Absolutely. Um, how can you tell that, that a dog or a cat has an ear infection? Well, they'll tell you it hurts too. And really? it's, it's usually by shaking their head, digging at their ears. Some dogs will rub their face on the ground or a paw or... And of course, there's usually a smell and some discharge associated with it too. Okay, so how do you treat it? Um, well, you go see your vet because there's uh, <laughs> the problem is one ear infection does not fit all. There are different kinds of ear infections. There's yeast infections, bacterial infections, ear mite infections. There's all kinds of different kinds. And if you don't treat the right one, you're not going to clear up the problem. All right, can you prevent these from happening? Are there certain things that you can do? Absolutely, there are definitely ways that you can go um, mostly for dogs for beagles and hounds and floppy ear dogs, cleaning their ears on a regular basis is the best way to keep them from developing ear infections. And most of these cleaners can be either purchased from your vet, you can purchase some of them over the counter, um, and you know, cleaning them out once a week is a very, very good idea. If you're unsure about how to do this, certainly call your vet and um, schedule a consultation. Learn how to clean your dog's ears the right way. I know sometimes there are, you know, the, um, the remedies online, the natural remedies mm -hmm. online, but if you if you were saying go see the vet because you're probably going to need a prescription for the dog, what happens if you don't treat it? What what can happen in the long term? Well, long term consequences of untreated ear infections can include hearing loss, chronic pain, chronic infection, and there are actually some situations where we have to take dogs to surgery to remove their ears oh, because uh. there is simply no medication left that can get down there and treat them. All right, so, so definitely have that off at the oh, pass. Yes, pay attention to your pets. Make sure that you're looking for the signs. And if you missed any of this interview, we're going to post the whole thing online on the morning show page of news4jacks.com. Also, as always, check out our pet section because there's a lot of great pets that are currently up for adoption. Vic?